In 2023, central banks continue to show the world that they are, as they have always been, still betting on gold. Last year, they bought almost as much as they did in 2022. Hi, I'm Ivory Hacker, and this is Noble Gold News. Let's talk about what this continuous gold hoard really means. The World Gold Council reported that central banks added 1,037 tons of gold to their reserves last year, just slightly less than the 1,082 tons purchased in 2022, marking another year where purchases exceeded 1,000 tons. This activity has increased central bank's total gold holdings to approximately 36,700 tons, signaling a continued search for alternatives to the U.S. dollar. The World Gold Council has highlighted these purchases as evidence of central banks' strong demand for gold in recent times. Since 2010, central banks have been net buyers of gold every year, accumulating more than 7,800 tons, with over a quarter of this total bought in the last two years alone. The 2022 and 2023 central bank gold surveys indicate that gold's reliability during crisis and its value as a long-term asset are major reasons why central banks maintain gold reserves. China led the buying spree in 2023 with the People's Bank of China increasing its gold reserves by 225 tons, the largest annual increase since 1977, bringing its total to 2,235 tons. This ranks China sixth globally in gold reserves amidst speculation that the country may hold significantly more gold than officially reported. Poland was the next significant buyer with the central bank purchasing 130 tons of gold from April to November of 2023, a 57% increase bringing its total to 359 tons. This move was part of a broader strategy announced by Bank of Poland President Adam Glapinski to enhance financial security and stability through gold reserves. Poland aims to have gold comprise 20% of its reserves, a goal that it is actively pursuing through continued purchases. Other notable buyers in 2023 include Singapore, the Czech Republic, Iraq, India, and the Philippines, while Kazakhstan and Uzbekistan were the main sellers, reflecting a common practice among countries that buy from domestic production to fluctuate between buying and selling. Turkey, which was a net seller in early 2023 by selling 160 tons of gold, reversed its stance by the third quarter, adding 18 tons in December, indicating a strategic move to manage local market demands rather than a shift away from its long-term gold investment strategy. The World Gold Council anticipates that central banks will continue to be net buyers of gold, underlining a sustained trend of increasing gold reserves globally de-dollarization and economic turmoil. Given the active move of the BRICS plus nations to move away from the dollar and escalating global geopolitical conflicts, central banks are turning to the most consistent and stable asset. That is gold. And if countries year after year run to gold to protect the wealth of their country, then it should be good enough to protect your wealth. It is just as valuable here as it is in other countries. If you ever need to go to another country, having gold gives you a strong Longer safety net as it will retain its value and someone will always be willing to buy it. That's the kind of protection you need. Noble Gold Investments is here to give you relevant and objective information that could help you make a decision when it comes to investing for your future. More importantly, they can cover all of your precious metal investment needs. They have associates waiting on the line to answer any questions that you may have. You can start by going to their website, noblegoldinvestments.com. That's noblegoldinvestments.com. Download Noble Gold's Wealth Protection Kit for free. You can call them at 877 646 Six five three four seven. That's eight seven seven six four six five three four seven.